All right, boys, what's going on? It is go time right now. We are rigged up, weighted up, about to just shove a ton of different soft plastics into my pockets and my waders, throw the big camera in the backpack, hop onto the chesty, and start waiting. We have a bunch of different fish we can catch this morning. Flounder, snook, redfish, trout, some epic lizard fish, pompano, you really never know. We have everything in the water that you'd want to catch in shore around us right now, so we are gonna see what damage we can do and hop in the water. All right, only took me far too long to get ready, but we're finally hopping in. And I'll be honest, I'm about to get smoked by some pretty heavy rain, I think. But I'm tired of sitting in my car. I've been sitting waiting for the rain to pass. This is coming in intermittent showers, so we're just gonna get over and start waiting. All right, let me show you what we're starting out throwing this morning. Twitch bait right here, Mira Dean. These things are money. I've caught my PB trout. Oh, I think I just saw a stingray. Sorry. <laughs> I've caught my PB trout, my uh, biggest redfish so far, all on a Muradine. Caught some big snook on them as well. Just about anything will eat this sucker. And I like it because it's a little cold right now. Like the water temperature has to be in the mid 60s, I would guess. And they suspend really slowly. So right now, when it's cold and I want to work a bait slowly, this works because I can twitch it a few times and just let it sit and wobble and float there. All right, I'm gonna change lures up here. I've been throwing this twitch bait for about 30 minutes or so, and I've only had like one hit. I'm sure if I stuck with it, I'm sure I can catch fish on it, but I'm gonna slow things down quite a bit here. Throw on a shrimp right here, and we are gonna very, very slowly just kind of pick this flat apart while we're wade fishing. There's some days where I definitely feel like I have more patience than others, and today's one of those days where I'm kind of okay with just moving around really slow. I'm by myself, like I don't feel any pressure to like move quickly. There's no one else here on the beach at all. And so I'm just gonna really slowly work this shrimp and just pick this area apart. There's the fish. There we go. What do we got? It's gonna be a freaking lizard fish or something. I don't know what we're dealing with here. Could be a snook, could be a trout. Unconfirmed. All right, but it feels good to hook into a fish. I believe we got a lady fish. Yeah. All right, oh gosh. First fish of the morning, just a little lady. They are interesting fish to me because if they got any bigger, they would probably be one of the most incredible game fish ever, right there. Come on, get out of here. There he goes. If they got any size to them, they'd be an incredible game fish. If you've never heard the term, they call them a poor man's tarpon. And for the exact reason, they fight basically identical to tarpon. They just don't get very big. <laughs> and they're a lot easier to catch. Retied. After our, that ladyfish release, check my leader and it was super frayed up. They're a really bad culprit. Ladyfish, tarpon, and snook are some like the worst culprits of every single time you guys catch one. You need to check your leader and make sure that it's all good because that thing was frayed. Oh gosh, something had my shrimp and was swimming at me with it in its mouth. Crap. I literally was like trying to twitch to tighten up and it's just like nothing was happening, real, 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 and there's something to wait and then dropped. Shrimp's getting a little play in. Much more than I was getting on my twitch bait. Definitely a uh, slow everything down type of morning, just get real slow, 
bounce bait off the bottom. It's cold. Fish are feeling real lethargic. You gotta read the situation sometimes. Every single day is different. You gotta learn to read the situation and say, okay, it's really cold. It's really overcast. It's been cold. So these fish, they're probably moving pretty slow. Like snook, I, they're probably literally just like sitting underneath a dock or a mangrove, just like frozen, sitting there. Trout and redfish, they deal with cold pretty well. They're probably moving around and hunting a little bit, but they're still gonna be moving slower than when it's, you know, a nice 75 degrees. Keep that in mind. There's a bite. Ooh, blah, 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 blah. Oh my gosh, what the hell is happening? That ice got picked up twice. Like, look at this thing. What is this? That's what I figured. Freaking lizard fish. Ooh, there's a bite. Oh, there's a fish. That feels kind of heavy. Kind of, kind of a double stick there because I have kind of a weak hook set. It feels kind of heavy. I don't know what it is. Could be another. Lady, lady gravy fish. <laughs> it's kind of fighting weird. I don't know. Watch, well, it's gonna be like a donkey lizard fish. What are we dealing with here? Hey, could it be? Could it be this cold water snook I just caught right here? Oh no, it's a trout. Okay. I'm more excited about that than a snook, to be honest. Beautiful trout. That is what we are looking for today. A nice trout, probably a 20 incher. What a ham, what a freaking ham. We're gonna try to wet our hands before we grab these trout. A little lesson I learned from the man Blair Wiggins. Helped with the release of them a lot. Trout have very, very small, soft scales. And so grabbing them too much ain't too good for them. Dang, dude, this is like a nice trout. Probably one of the biggest ones I've caught in a while. Boom, beautiful. Look at that tanker. It's got a little few mites on them. Let's see if we can help them out with that. Some parasites. Beautiful, beautiful trout right there. Scrimp sticking out of his mouth. I bet he's 21 inches, 22. Handsome guy though, for sure. Beautiful trout right there. What a handsome looking guy. I'd say he's probably just around 20 inches. Um, I mean, I don't get to catch a lot of trout, so I always like really treasure and enjoy getting the chance to uh, get on some. They are an incredibly beautiful fish. I mean, silvers, green, blue, you catch them sometimes, they have an awesome, awesome purple sheen, bright yellow mouth, big old canine teeth. Just what a badass fish these things are. Look at that beautiful tail. All right, real quickly, I want to take a break from throwing for a moment and talk to you guys about something that I think is really important. Maybe not important <laughs> isn't the right word, but something I think is going to be very helpful to you guys. This lure right here, an artificial shrimp, the brand doesn't matter. There's a hundred different brands out there and there's a bunch that I throw. So that, ignore the brand fact, don't think about it in that way. Whatever type of artificial shrimp you're throwing, I guarantee if you have the problem of being like, wow, you know, I'm really just not catching anything on these shrimp and I see people use them all the time and they should work well, they look really great. And you've heard me say it a hundred times, almost every predator fish at some point in their life eats a shrimp. There's no getting around it. They're probably one of the most abundant food sources for fish and one of the most common food sources. And so you think to yourself, okay, this lure that looks like a shrimp, I should be catching fish on it. Why aren't I? If I had to do a diagnosis from not knowing you personally and just from my own past mistakes, you're probably fishing it too fast. If you've ever looked at a shrimp in an aquarium or been diving or even looked in your bait bucket, they don't really do anything. They're really slow and they just kind of sit there and really slowly crawl around on the bottom of the floor or the rocks or the grass, whatever they're in, they're barely moving around. And then when they're running or fleeing, they do their big kick up like that. But you think to yourself, oh man, they're, they're kicking up. They're still not going very far. They're like moving like six inches normally. And then if you see a shrimp swimming most of the time, it's because they're being swept by the current or it's like a big flush is happening. And that's like in a rare occasion. So you probably are fishing them too fast. I see a lot of people doing a lot of this stuff right here where they throw it out and they're working it like they're working a jerk bait or a fluke where they're like 
going like this, it's like, what freaking Hussein Bolt shrimp are you trying to imitate right now? Normally, all they're doing is just like creep crawling across the bottom. And so you're letting it sink really, really slow. It's down there and you're doing really little rod taps like that. And that's not even necessarily to be like, oh, your shrimp's fleeing and running away, which it can be and that helps. But a lot of it is you're creating vibration and you're stirring up the grass or mud and kicking up some sand. And that act is what's drawing the fish into you. And they see the shrimp, you know, puff up only a few inches off the bottom. And that looks so natural to them. I cannot tell you how many snook I've caught with my shrimp, literally artificial shrimp, dead sticked on the bottom, not moving because shrimp don't do anything man they just sit there and so you can catch fish moving them really fast like a jerk bait i guess like i've done it before and i mean i've ripped an artificial shrimp across the top of the surface have jack come up and crush them you always have a chance but if you want to be more successful and have a higher catch rate i'm telling you slow it down I, there's some of you guys who would probably have gone nuts fishing with me today i've been out fishing for let me see now it is 8 55 i've been fishing for over an hour and 30 minutes and i would bet you i have walked a hundred yards from my truck i mean i am walking like taking a step and throwing that shrimp and then it's taking me 30 seconds to a minute to work that shrimp back in over a course of just 15 yards i mean moving slow painfully slow but it works. That's how you're gonna catch more fish. So if you in the past have been like, wow, I see people throw these artificial shrimp, but they just don't work for me. I just don't catch fish on them. My guesstimate would be you're either moving them too fast or you're not even fishing them on the bottom probably. They sink really slow. You gotta let them get to the bottom. Key thing to take away, move them slow and that's gonna help you catch a lot more fish, man. I, I promise you. Oh, I just got crushed. Good Lord Almighty. That confirmed some of my suspicions there, I guess. All right, I've changed up and actually put on a little gold glitter shrimp right here. I know I just, just caught a trout on the clear, clear colored one, but I'm the type of person where I'm always like, what's on the other side of the hill type mentality. And sometimes it's really great. And sometimes it's like taking a gun out and shooting yourself in the foot. And what I mean by that is I'm very much like, okay, I've caught a few fish on that clear shrimp, so I know it's working, but maybe a different color is working even better. And there's days where it's like, you know, you're kind of okay catching fish and you're happy with it. And then you say, you know what, maybe they're eating this color even better. And you put that on, you start to crush them. And then there's days where you put that new color on and <laughs> you don't catch a single fish. But uh, it's always good to try, I think. And you know, worst case scenario, what, I'll, I'll tie a clear shrimp back on. But for the moment, we're throwing a gold glitter. bite come on stay on this feels okay this feels okay this feels real okay hard to say it could be a lady fish could be a red could be a big trout you never know oh but it feels good to hear a little drag squeak out on the 2500 interesting big tail boil I mean, it's very well because it's been a jack slurped off off the bottom, but I hope not, man. I'm fishing real slow. Normally, you don't catch very many jack when you're fishing super slow, but anything can happen, I suppose. What we got here? Unidentified so far. My shrimp has popped way up the line. Definitely not a shabby fish. I still can't freaking tell what it is, though. Ooh. And just what I thought. It's a freaking jack. Okay. Man, that is really surprising to me. I mean, I'm happy because of this fight so far. Wait. Oh, no. <laughs> I think this is just a tank pompano. Holy crap. It's a huge pompano. <laughs> My freaking attitude just shifted so drastically right there. I was like, ah, oh, it's another jack. I think this is a big pump. It is a tank of a little pump. Oh, daddy. Oh, daddy. This would be my first pompano on an artificial shrimp. I've been in a weird uh, 
pompano a groove lately if you guys been watching a lot i've been trying to catch some and catching them here and there but this dude is kind of a hog he's not long but he is a tall son of a gun he is like permit shaped not necessarily pompano shaped he ain't no stinking permit though that is a tank little pompano right there i mean he is so tall and very very thick across the head you know pompano don't get humongous they get a lot bigger than this but they're just a cool fish man like just like a little micro permit they look so similar one of the biggest differences is that permits will get a big black dot right in the middle underneath their fin here but what a cool fish man they're epic they're biting we're having to work for them but they're biting and like i said the whole operation is in slow motion and uh but that's what's working you just gotta do what you can to catch fish There's a fish. Oh my gosh, there's a freaking tiny lizard fish. Son of a gun. <laughs> Those things are so funny. All right, things are slowly starting to wind down here. If you see in front of us, we've got this big old dock. We'll work our way up to that and kind of pick our way into the pilings with our shrimp and see if we can find anything up in there. But bites definitely slowed down a little bit. I think partially it's right now 1030, you know, as the day gets on, the bite will definitely seem to slow down. We also have a huge, huge storm front rolling in from behind us, and that can definitely cause some weird, weird pressure changes and get the fish kind of all mixed up. Sometimes it fires them up, and sometimes it really uh, puts them on edge and makes them not want to eat anymore. But we got a fish about you know 20 more minutes, and we'll call it a call it a morning. Alrighty. I think that'll do it right there. I need to make a run for it before I get destroyed by that humongous black cloud right there. So, time to hoof it back to the truck. Ugh. Back home at the house. If you can see, it's slightly raining. It's been storming basically ever since I got off the water and I timed it just, just right. You know, today was a little different than I normally do. It was a very wordy and informative day. And if you didn't like it, I'm sorry. If you enjoyed it, well, good. I just feel like it's important every once in a while to me, for me to like actually impart some like wisdom or knowledge that I've learned because I'm fortunate enough to where I'm fishing five days a week most weeks. And so I've learned a lot over the past few years. And there's, you know, a lot of my videos is just like, we're throwing this, boom, here's a fish, boom, there's a fish, like this is what we're doing. And so I think it's important every once in a while, break it down, slow it down, and be like, this is what we're doing, and this is why we're doing it, and how we're doing it. And especially in a day like today, trout, pompano, wade fishing, you know, access from shore, we're throwing artificial shrimp. It's something that's so relatable that I bet all of you guys, the majority of your viewers have done that or you actively do that. So I feel like it's important to Shut up! I feel like it's important for you guys to, you know, get a part of that some days and hopefully learn a little bit. I appreciate you guys very much. We are done with today's video. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like. Make sure you subscribe if you're pissed off of that mockingbird chirping like I am. I appreciate you guys. Until the next video, see ya.